In an earlier video, I showed you how to create a desktop shortcut to shut down your computer on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Many of you commented that you wanted to know how to create shortcuts to restart, sleep, or hibernate your computer. I'll show you how to do these, beginning with the restart shortcut. To do this, right-click an empty space on your desktop, go to New, and select Shortcut. In the field where it says type the location of the item, type shutdown, and yes, it's shut down, not restart. Add a space, slash. If you remember in the video for the shutdown shortcut, the next letter here was the letter S. Here, type the letter R, add a space, slash, the letter T, another space, then the number zero. This must be a zero, not the letter O, otherwise it won't work. After entering that, click on next. For this shortcut, give it the name restart. You could use another name. I guess you could call it Start Again if you want. When you're done naming it, click on Finish. Now when you double click on the Restart shortcut, it will now restart your computer without having to click your way through the Start menu. To customize the look of the Restart shortcut, right click on it and select Properties. With the Shortcut tab selected, click Change Icon. In the pop-up box, click on OK. Go through the various icons that you have to choose from and select an icon for restart. You can choose whichever one you want. Let's see what else they have to choose from here. For this example, I'll choose this one. After you've selected the icon for restart, click on OK. From here, just click on OK to exit. Now we'll move on to creating a shortcut to put your PC to sleep or put it in hibernation mode. To create the sleep or hibernate shortcut, the steps are somewhat similar. At this point, you should know whether you have sleep or hibernate enabled on your PC. In short, sleep is good for short breaks, like leaving for lunch or running short errands. Hibernate is for extended breaks, saving the applications you have running to resume later on when it wakes up. Right click on the desktop, go to new and select shortcut. In the field where it says, type the location of the item, I'd recommend that you copy and paste this from the description for this video. It'll make it easier than typing it. This command works for both sleep and hibernation, depending on what you have enabled. Click on next. Give the shortcut a name, sleep or hibernate. Seems like the obvious names for these. I'll go with sleep. Other alternatives you could use, I guess, would be nap, snooze, passed out. After naming it, click on finish. Double clicking on this will now put your computer in sleep or hibernate mode. To customize the appearance of the sleep or hibernate shortcut, right click on it and select properties. In the shortcut tab, select change icon. Click OK. Select the icon you want. Let me see if there's a good one here. This one seems okay with the clock on it, so I'll go with that one. When you're done with that, click OK, and then click OK again. And there we go. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Let us know in the comments what desktop shortcut you prefer. Shut down, restart, sleep, or hibernate. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest tutorials for Windows and other tech-related stuff.